And as you were mentioning that around 86% respondents are planning to move away from Oracle. How mature are the alternatives? Can you talk about the state of alternatives? The specific stat, stat that 86% is those that have already moved or are planning to move. And um, so it's, you know, certainly many have already done it. The, the, the thing about Java that many people don't understand is that it does all come from the same open source code base. It comes from the Open JDK project. And so usually when people hear that word migration, it causes them concern because, you know, for example, if you were to, to undertake, say, a database migration, that is a very complex project that takes a lot of time and incurs risk because if you're moving from one database to another database, many, many times, or probably the majority of time, there are incompatibilities that exist from you know database A to, to database B. And so moving the data is by, by no means a straightforward process. And so this migration word you know, kind of has a, a bad connotation associated with it because depending upon you know, what you're migrating, it can be very straightforward or it can be quite complex. In the case of Java, since the Oracle Java runtime comes from the same code as our Java runtime and Amazon's and Eclipse's and, and everyone else that has an open JDK build, by really almost by definition, they should be the same because it's the same source code that ultimately is running. And so, you know, just by proof, if you will, and of course there always are subtleties, but but at the end of the day, you know, the, the comfort level that that you know we we educate the community on and, and others in the OpenJD community is that there should be no difference between the Oracle runtime and, and the other others coming from the OpenJDK community. And in practice, there is no difference. And that's why it's been so straightforward for for users of the Oracle Java runtime to move to an open JDK distribution. So when when Oracle, again, they build their distribution based on the same open JDK source base that we do and others, they also pass those same 150,000 compatibility uh, tests that I mentioned before. They use those same tests to say this is, you know, Java 21, as I mentioned in that example, and just like we do. And so everyone's using the same set of tests. Everyone's using the same source code. That's why you know, for example, Azul's OpenJDK builds is functionally feature performance wise the same as Oracle's. And so that's why the migration actually is quite straightforward because it's, it's you know, literally installing a, a piece of software that's very simple to install and changing some configuration as to how the application chooses which Java runtime to use. And there you go. It really is uh, quite straightforward. So usually migrations are, are more about, um, you know, how, how enterprises, you know, make changes to their overall application stack, um, how applications get deployed. It's really more IT processes that, that have to happen in terms of, of changing from Oracle Java to, um, to an open JDK alternative. But the survey also had some really impressive stats that 84% of those that have migrated from Oracle Java to an open JDK distribution have um, found that, that migration to to either go as expected or easier than expected. So, you know, the results are, are pretty pretty clear that, you know, what I'm saying is not just hypothetical, that's, that's really what's happening in the world.